This is the humble floppy disk, once the pinnacle of data storage. It is now an artifact of the past. I remember using it for data storage purposes back in the day, for school projects, transferring files, and even booting up old system. Today, you will often hear that floppy disks are obsolete. But in today's video, I am going to show you some areas where floppy disks are still used and considered a reliable source of storage. With that being said, some believe floppy disks might still make a comeback. But is this really possible? Let's explore this in today's video. Floppy disks were introduced in the 1970s as a reliable storage medium and their introduction was nothing short of revolutionary. They had a storage capacity of 1.44 megabyte, which at that time seemed miraculous. However, if you think this was because there were no storage medium before them, you would be wrong. Storage mediums like punch card, magnetic drum memory, core memory, and paper tape existed before floppy disks. The issue with these earlier mediums revolved around three factors. Compactness, reusability, and random access capability. Some of these earlier mediums even had more storage capacity than floppy disks. For instance, magnetic drum could store several megabytes, but it wasn't compatible with computer systems. Floppy disks, on the other hand, were compact, reusable, and compatible with computers, making them the preferred storage solution of the 1970s. For 40 years, floppy disks enjoyed widespread usage. Back then, a single floppy disk cost around $5, which is equivalent to $40.6 in today's currency. In 1978, sales of all types of floppy drives and media were expected to reach $135 million for media and $875 million for drives. Their popularity was driven by many factors, the main one being their variety. Floppy disks came in several variants such as the 3-inch video floppy, the 3-inch quick disk and many other. You can see their various sizes and formats on the screen. These variations were key to their widespread appeal. Another major reason for their popularity was the way floppy disks revolutionized work environments. Office data could be easily transferred between devices. Imagine someone working in an office who could transfer their work to a floppy disk and continue at home on their own computer. This meant people were no longer tied to a single device. However, the popularity of floppy disks declined significantly in the 21st century. The reason is simple. They couldn't keep up with the increasing demand for storage space. Devices like USB drives offered much greater storage capacity and faster transfer speeds. As applications and operating systems grew larger, people needed more storage and hard disk drives became the better option. Moreover, floppy disks were fragile, dropping one could result in the loss of data. The most advanced floppy disk introduced about a decade ago couldn't even store a single modern smartphone photo. With superior alternatives available, floppy disks become redundant. Despite this, you might be surprised to learn that floppy disks are still in use. Recently, I watched a video in which someone in California mentioned that they still sell around 500 floppy disks a day because of ongoing demand. That surprised me. In the comments, some people even shared that they still use floppy disks for work. These users are likely in specialized fields like avionics where floppy disks are still used because they work with older computers. Upgrading these systems isn't straightforward because flight hardware and software require certification, a process that demands significant time, money and engineering effort. Security is another factor. Older systems using floppy disks are often isolated and less, less vulnerable to cyber threats, which can be advantage in certain secure environment. In summary, floppy disks are now primarily used with legacy hardware equipment. As for whether they could make a proper comeback like in the 1970s, I believe it's nearly impossible. A news article I read mentioned that no new companies manufacture floppy disks anymore. The last one were made by Sony in 2011. 
However, if floppy disks could revolutionize their storage capacity and become a faster data transfer medium, I would say that floppy disks would again be able to dominate storage markets. By the way, if you are curious about why hard disks offer often less storage than advertised, check out this video where I explain the factors contributing to this discrepancy. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so we can continue bringing the videos like this. Thank you.